Hey, what's going on guys? It's this kid and I wanted to talk about how to get the four snail mounts in 9.2 through protoform synthesis. I'm going to go over how to get the schematic and how to get the rare that are needed for protoform synthesis. But before I do that, I'm going to go over how to get the genesis motes and the lattice that are needed for all four mounts. So the first thing is going to be genesis motes. Once you get the research for protoform synthesis done, you can get these from pretty much everything in Xerath Mortis. The best place to go is going to be in genesis fields. I have a video on the best farm for this but in general, go around there, kill all the devourers, and you can get right around 400, 500 an hour. So in general, it's gonna take right around 45 minutes to complete these because each of the mounts on average is gonna require right around 400 Genesis modes. The next thing to get is gonna be the Hellicid Lattice, and you're gonna need this for all four mounts as well. The best place to get this, and pretty much the only place to get this, is gonna be in the southeast region of Xerath Mortis. Right in the same spot where Oryxol the snail rare spawns, you're going to kill three other snails right around there. Oryxol himself has a chance to drop the lattice, but the three other snails are also going to have a very high chance to drop it as well. Each of the three snails is going to have a 3% chance to drop the lattice, and Oryxol himself is going to have a 7% chance to drop it. So this drop chance may not seem like a lot, but comparatively to all the other creatures and their different kinds of lattices within Xerath Mortis, this is pretty high. There is also a section a little bit more southeast from Oryxol. There is going to be four more snails, and I will post the location here. So now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to the individual mounts themselves, where to get the schematics and the rares for each of those. First one that people will most likely see is going to be the Bronze Helicid, and that's because the schematic is located in the Tribute of the Enlightened Elders. This is going to be from the weekly quest, Patterns Within Patterns. This is going to be the weekly quest where you talk to Bolvar, you assist your allies, get 100%, and then you get a cool box at the end. That box is going to give you the schematic as long as you have the protoform synthesis area unlocked. The rare for this mount is going to be a little bit weirder though, so it's going to be called Unalloyed Bronze Ingot, and this is going to be from doing some locus shifting. If you are done with the Chapter 6 campaign quest, you're going to be kind of familiar with locus shifts and how that works. So what you may not be familiar with is that you have to unlock the second column of the cipher of the first ones, just that top row. You don't have to go any further than that, but after that you go to Resonant Peaks in Xerath Mortis. It's in the north-northwest section of Xerath Mortis. You go in there, there's two caves that are going to be located on the ground level. You go to the bottom one, and this is actually where your body goes when you die here. You go in there and you're going to go straight to the left and click the symbol that's on the wall. You're going to need to do this before you go any further with this rare. Once you do that, be sure to gather 60 cosmic energy from some of the mobs outside. After that, you're going to head up to the second cave a little bit up the hill. Once in there, you're going to locus shift twice. The first one is going to be to the interior locus. And once you're there, you go to the back wall. And the back wall is going to have a new flight path kind of thing for you. You're going to click on that and you're going to go to the repertory alcove. Once you're in the repertory alcove, there's going to be kind of like a box in the middle. You click on the box and you choose the fourth option. The fourth option is going to give you a chance to get this rare. You have about a 10% chance, but in general, you're most likely going to get some Genesis modes. So you might have to do this week after week. You do only have one chance per week, but you can also get this on some alts if you have protoform synthesis research completed and you also have that second column completed in the cipher of the first ones. But now we'll move on to the second mount, Serenade. Serenade is going to be one of the easier mounts to get out of these four. For the schematic, you're going to head to the sepulcher of the first ones. You're going to enter the raid and in the first room where you fight the first boss, instead of going down the little path and going straight into the boss, you're going to take a left, jump off the platform, and in the back left, there's going to be a hanging plant. Under the plant, there's going to be a metal chain. You're going to click on that little thing inside of the metal chain, and that's going to be your schematic. The rare is going to be called the Crystallized Echo of the First Song. And for this, you're mostly going to go to the Sepulchre of the First One's Island, that eastern island on Xerath Mortis. You're going to go there and go to some of these waypoints. There should be one of those there. You just click on it, and there you go. The next mount is going to be the Unsuccessful Prototype Fleet Pod. For this schematic, you're going to want to get Altonian Understanding, and this is going to be from the second column, second row of the Cypher of the First Ones. 
Once you do that, you're going to head to Resonant Peaks. You're going to fly all the way to the top of the mountain. There is going to be that house where you completed the campaign quest. You're going to fly right behind it. There should be a little symbol on the wall for you to click. Once you do that, gather up 60 cosmic energy. You're going to go to the locus shift that's right at the edge of the mountain there. You're going to click that, go to the interior locus, and then go to the little locus behind that. You're going to click on that and go to the camber locus. Once you get there, you're going to see a sleepy snail in the background. You're going to click on that and complete a minigame. Basically, you run through five of the glowing portals and try not to step in the sand. Once you do the five, there should be a schematic that pops up on the side of the room. Click that and you'll have your schematic. The rare for this mount is called Tools of Incomprehensible Experimentation. This is going to drop from Leuvim in Sepulchre, the first ones. This is a 4% drop, so it's very, very hard to get. At max, you could do this maybe a couple times per week. If you're good enough, you could do it four times per week. But I would recommend just getting some alts, the research done. And just like the Bronze Helicid, just do this multiple times per week on each alt. You can just queue up for LFR now and just do it on all of them as well. The final mount is going to be the Scarlet Helicid. This mount is actually going to be easier to get than Serenade in my personal opinion. The schematic is going to be located on Antecedent Isle. It's the northern island where the world boss is in Xerath Mortis. If you're just flying into the island, it's going to be located on the large arc on the left side. As far as the rare goes, it's going to be called Revelation Key, and it's going to drop from Protector of the First Ones in Xerath Mortis as well. It's going to be an 11% drop, so pretty high relatively compared to a lot of the other rares here. And also, you're going to see Protector of the First Ones spawn a lot if you're just hanging out in Xerath Mortis, so I really think this is one of the easier mounts to get out of the four. But yeah, that's about it. That's how to get each of the four snail mounts in 9.2, uh, or Hellacid mounts, whatever you want to call them. Hope you guys enjoyed, and you guys have a good rest of your day, night, whatever. Uh, yeah, see you later.